<sighs> Happy 2021, everybody. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? How you boys doing today? Welcome back to another episode of the show. You know, every time I log into this server, I just, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy to know that I have placed almost every single one of these blocks. And it's turning out beautiful. I love this world. I love it so much. I have never had a single player world as great and fantastic as this. Isn't it fantastic? It's actually a little bit disappointing because I have been playing on this world for about a little over a year now <laughs> and I'm, I haven't even hit episode 50 yet. I know I'm a little bit slow on the episodes but I still love this world nonetheless. But look at this. Look at all the stuff we've achieved. We achieved, hey, hey Splots, what's going on? Chameleon, how you doing? <laughs> we got the dragon, we killed the dragon, we got his head, we got our first trident, which I have, I don't think I've ever used. It's got loyalty, can I throw that? And it'll come right back, right? Oh my goodness, that's the first time I think I've ever used a trident. You just witnessed it. <laughs> but then we have all of this stuff. Look, our first buried treasure map. Isn't that cool that we still have that? Uh, what does it look like? Do you remember where this was? Do you guys remember finding this for the first time? I think it was like episode two or three. That's insane, is it not? Our first wooden pickaxe, stone pickaxe, iron pickaxe, diamond pickaxe. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize this. I had the diamond one too. I thought I would have repaired that. I guess not. Uh, oh, our first stone sword and our first iron sword. Isn't that so sick? Oh, we got our even first shield here. And I think, I want to say this is our first bow. I could be wrong. Oh well, that's gonna be in our first bow. And then I think if we go up here, we have a hallway with our armor right in here. Uh, creeper killer armor. I don't know what that is. I didn't label it. That's my OP armor. That's the one I wear. And then this is my firsties armor. Yeah, so, oop, yeah. So I got my first helmet, uh, my first chest. They, they, uh, they got some damage, but yeah, that's all the first stuff that I had. My first pair of armor ever. Isn't that cool that I still have that? I don't know, I, it feels awesome. And there are other firsts in this world, like like the first building that I've ever made. This is my first building that I've ever made. Yeah, it wasn't this big, it wasn't this grandose <laughs> when, when it first started. It was literally just this tower right here and maybe this little L shape right here. But everything else, I, I mean, th th this, this is first building I've ever made on this world. I lived in the cave before this building right here. How beautiful is it now? But don't mind me, I'm being a little nostalgic, you know, I'm remembering day ones in the series and I don't know, I miss it. I miss it. I kinda I kinda like the th the thought that one day I was running this world and I didn't know what I was gonna do. And then now look what spawned from my mind. And it's crazy! It's Kratopes! That's what this place is. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> but the reason why I'm pointing out all my firsts isn't just, you know, just to say, hey, look, I've gotten a bunch of firsts. It's because today, I want to make an advancement, achievement, achievement room. <laughs> and I think the best place for it, it would be right here. Of course, I need to work, I need to work on this. I need, yeah, that's ugly. That is ugly. We're going to have to put some pillars in here. But this is where I want the achievement room to go. There's plenty of room. And I want to, I want people that, that, that first come into this world, I want them to be like, oh, I want to learn everything I can about this world. So they'll come in here and see that I beat the dragon, see that I beat a wither. Uh, wait, can I do a wither? I have my first beacon. I could put my first beacon up here and then just go kill another wither. That's possible. I could definitely do that. <laughs> but I want my armor and everything all over the place. I think this would be a fantastic place for that. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I've been walking past these things and I haven't mentioned them once. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I put in some more igloos since last episode. Last episode, we made this guy right here with this banner line. And then we made this igloo. And it's got a sick overhang. And look, there's even stuff in here that makes it look like there's actually stuff going on in there. Do I want to sell stuff out of these igloos? Maybe. 
Maybe I'll put a chest in there or something with like some fish. I don't know. But since since I made this igloo, I only made one because I was really confused. I didn't know exactly what I should do. I didn't know if you guys would even like this. And you guys threw out a bunch of comments, okay? A bunch of comments said, look at the pre-existing igloo to see it, it, what that looks like and kind of make your igloo based off of that. Well, I did. I did. That was That's what I made this off of in the first place. But the thing about those igloos is those igloos are at least three times bigger than this. And I did not want a big igloo. I really wanted something this size because it just fits into this place a little bit better. You know what I mean? Could you imagine it being at three times bigger? It would, it would take up almost this whole entire valley, especially with how many I have. So I, I think this is going to work the best. But I don't know. I don't know. I think it looks good. I think it looks good. Another comment that you guys said was, Ditch the ice, man. Ditch the ice. I don't know how I like this one. I mean, I, I if you guys don't like the ice, then maybe I won't put in the ice. I think this adds a whole lot more character and detail to the build. And this kind of looks a little bland. But I can see, I can see what you're talking about. I really can. <laughs> anyway, we added a whole buttload more, you know, with each individual different colors. You can see a little bit of orange right there, I think it is. Uh, yellow over there. Oh, we're going to walk around and see them all. But they're all kind of hidden in the nooks and crannies. So we got a shop here, uh, or an igloo there. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to be shops yet. I mean, they look like shops, right? So why not? We got an igloo here. This one is kind of cool because it goes over this little bridge here that I made into this igloo. It's right next to our little lake thing. You can kind of see the castle down there. Oh, that's pretty. That's very pretty. Um, but then you come over here, and then there are a couple more. We only have two more. This one, you have to go down this little um, staircase here out onto the ice. And here's the igloo. And then the last one, I don't know if I like the last one as much because you, you can see it right there. It's kind of, you know, crammed in there. And the only way to get down here is this. I like the staircase, but I don't know if I like the positioning of the igloo. <laughs> But then we added all the banners that I was talking about last episode. Those guys hanging up on these, uh, ooh, on these fence posts. And I think it looks kind of cool. With all of them put into place, it's really cool looking. And it kind of ties in everything to get... Oh, I didn't put any banners over here. Look at me slacking. And I don't even think I have... No, I don't even have a fence pole <laughs> over there. So maybe a little bit more work needs to be done. But this looks really fancy. I love all the colors that's coming into play. The one thing that I'm a little bit curious on what you guys think. Are there too many circular builds? Like does it kind of, it looks a little weird from like this angle. I don't know if it's just me if I just been, you know, looking at it for too long. But it looks like there's an arch here, there's an ice arch here, there's a fence arch here, there's an ice arch here, there's a fence arch here. It kind of just looks, I don't know, maybe too archy? You get what I'm saying? I don't really know. I don't really know. I can see how it, it looks good, but uh, maybe it looks a little bit too cluttered as well. I don't know. What do you guys think? But I really want to get into the achievement hall, I think is what I'm going to call it. We're not working with too much room this way. And I think what would be really cool is how much room do we have under... Oh, yeah, we have a plenty of room underneath here. So maybe I go down a couple blocks and I add some vertical aspects to this room. I think that would look really cool. Here's the thing, because this is such a secluded room in here, it's such like a compact room, I don't know if I want to do a time lapse. I think I'm going to stay away from doing a time lapse, and then I'll just come back with like little bits and bobs, okay? So let me, let me tear up the floor and then get a rough floor plan of what I'm thinking, and then I'll bring you guys back in, okay? Alright, so I think we have something planned out here. I don't know if it's the best <laughs> but it's kind of cool i think uh obviously first first things first we're gonna have to clean up the walls because the walls are just ugly right we got that cobblestone there we got some ice over here eventually it's all gonna look like this top half 
uh, all yellow and whatnot, and I think that's gonna look super beautiful, especially for the achievement room, right? It's supposed to be fancy and golden and bright and awesome, so I think the yellow is gonna be perfect for this. This door, though, this doorway is just, it's just not cutting it, so I think we're actually gonna go just a tad bit bigger here. Um, maybe just make it a three by three, something as simple as this right here, I think would look super beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it needs some TLC, obviously, right? Maybe we'll, we'll put in some powder here and, you know, put some powder in here as well. I think that would look good. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But then you come down the stairs here, and I'm thinking, this is what I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking armor stands will go here. Obviously, my OP armor is going to go right here in the middle because I'm going to have to call for this a lot. I, I'm going to have to be like, oh, I want that armor. So I'm thinking, what if we do like a glass casing from like this block right here all the way over here and then we glass casing it, right? And then I could press a button. I could come up here and press the call button or something. And then it calls the armor stand to me, which basically it'll just retract this block. It'll slide the armor stand on like some ice or something right below us. And then it'll pop up maybe like over here. I think it would be pretty cool. It would do like an L shape maybe. P pistons will push it this way. A piston will push it this way. And then a piston will pop it up here. And then I wonder... Yeah, uh, of course, and then we can work out another system where we just recall it, right? We'll press another button, it, the, the piston will retract here, it'll push over here, and then push back here, and then bump up here, right back to where it goes, I think. Anyway, long story short, this is where my armor's gonna go right here. I only have three sets. I have the creeper killer, my main armor, and then my firsties armor, so I think that would go perfectly right there. We could even put maybe like a shield in an item frame, I think that would look pretty cool. And then maybe put like, I, uh, I, yeah, maybe put like, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe not put the shield there, I don't know. Because if I turn around, we also have these outcoves, I think is what they're called, I don't really know. We have these indentations here, which I also, once again, wanna bring down the design from up here, down here. And I think it'd be really cool to put some item frames in here. And I'm thinking, you know, pickaxe, 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 pickaxe. That's four pickaxes and then I'm gonna be first shield and first, do I even have my first shovel? I don't think I do, uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh no. I don't I don't even think that thing still exists. <laughs> uh oh. And then over here on the other side we could put some stuff here too. But I'm thinking one of these sides is probably gonna be signage, right? Like the first day that I started on this world would be here. The first day I built um, uh, my building or my house right here. And then you know maybe a few other big facts here i don't know <laughs> i don't know but kind of so everybody comes in here and goes oh okay what day did did squid do this oh he started the world on this day you know what i mean so it's it's an achievement in itself but it's in the more of a of a sign form you know i i think i'm explaining that right <laughs> anyway let me do a little bit more work i think i need to put some fence posts in here and there but then i want to get this uh this wall looking a little bit more beautiful and then i think we're going to start placing down item frames. Ta-da! <laughs> Isn't this room so much better just with a little bit of a, a little bit of TLC? I love it. So I got my armor, my three armor sets right up here. One second. My creeper killer, my main armor, and then I think my firsties armor is right there. I think I'm going to have to put like an a uh, 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 thing on top of it, a sign that tells me which one's which. But yeah, I got my armors right there. Over here, I got my end stuff. I got my first elytra, the dragon egg, of course, and the dragon head. Of course, those are going to go on there. But I also did this thing up here. I, I, I don't know if you remember, but when I went to the end, I brought some maps with me. So I thought it would be really cool to put up the maps up here. I'm going to have to go back to the end and make more maps because I think it would be really sick to have like this line of mappage. I think it would be beautiful. Trust just trust. And then over here, I got my first wooden pickaxe and all of the above. And then swords right there. I think that looks really sick. And I named them all. So <laughs> you come up here and it's not a secret to what they are, right? But then you come over here and, well, I mean, it's kind of bland. There's not a whole lot here. 
I'm definitely going to need to do a little bit more to this whole entire wall, as well as this entire wall, as well as up here as well. We need more achievements. <laughs> but over here, basically, I have my first buried treasure map, as well as my first trident. And I'm thinking about doing some other, like, maybe mob heads and stuff over here. I don't know. But now I think it's time to actually get into the thing I've been dreading the most. We need to do the redstone. Uh, I think we have more than enough room here, but I just wanted to give a little bit extra so that we have a little bit room to work with. Now that I think about it, I actually think that we need to go out this way a little bit so that we have enough room for all the sticky pistons, which also, by the way, do I even have sticky pistons? I only have one. <laughs> Now with the sticky piston situation resolved, I can go ahead and get started on the redstone now. Now this is where the redstoners are going to have to forgive me because I am not a redstoner. <laughs> and there's probably a hundred different ways that this contraption I'm about to make could be made easier or better. <laughs> so basically what I want to do is I want to move my armor stand from one spot to another in my world. And this is the system that I kind of want to use. Basically when I hit that button, it sends the armor stand over here. And when I hit that button, it sends it back. So basically this is where it's going to be stored and this is where I want it to be. And then when I want to store it again, I'd hit this button and it'd go right back to where it's stored. Does that make sense? But here's the kicker. Basically what I want is I want one central button right and when I press this button it'll send it from here over there but when I hit the button again it'll send it from here over here but I don't want both systems activating at the same time I want it to go back and forth back and forth and I think I have an idea Please don't yell at me, Redstoners. So recently on the Obsidian Order, a buddy of mine named Vidya Garvia, he taught me how to do this thing, which is a T flip-flop, if I'm remembering correctly, which it's very possible I'm not. Essentially, what it is is it's going in a circle here. There's a dropper that's feeding into this guy, which is feeding into this guy, which is feeding into this hopper, which ultimately puts it back into this guy. So if I put an item, let's just say a stone button because I have it on me, in this dropper right here up top and I press this button that is now gone and what happened was it went into this dropper which it went into this hopper and then it is now in this bottom dropper now the cool thing is if I hit this button again it sends the <laughs> the stone button back into the original dropper now I think I could use this system to my advantage a theory that I realized <sighs> doesn't actually work <laughs> because I need to put the button on the observer but I don't want to put the button on the observer I want to put the button right here and because I'm super duper picky I need to redesign the whole entire T flip flop system uh, which turned out to be not so difficult <laughs> I did a little bit more research on the whole T flip flop thing and I found out this design works a whole lot better. Basically there's an observer right here that reads a signal when it comes back and it sends a one tick pulse to this piston right here which ultimately just moves this block there and if I press the button again it moves it back. Let me show you. Watch this. Boom. Bam. And then watch this. Boom. Bam. Do you see how this works back here? It works. It's a little bit weird. And I don't know exactly how it works, but it works. <laughs> so let's put this one in the world and hopefully this one works. <laughs> but because I'm a complete noob at redstone, I realized I made a big mistake. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. So I just realized that underneath here, I have to have an unstickable block like a barrel. I'm using barrels right now because piss or the sticky guys don't stick to the barrels. But I can't have that in my design. I'm going to need to have a sticky guy right here. 100% I'm going to have to have a sticky guy right there because what what's happening is I'm dropping the armor stand down into the ground and then I'm pushing it over and then I have to have a launcher that launches the guy back up. This design might not work. Oh, God. 
Does does water move in armor stand? Does 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 water move in armor stand? If it does, then I think we might be okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I have an idea. I have an idea. It uses water. I hope it works. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's give this a go. Armor stand set up. Press button. Armor stand should drop. Armor stand should move and get launched up onto that block right there. <laughs> yes. Now here's the real kicker. Does it work going back? backwards if i press this button once again it should drop water flow should switch directions uh okay <gasps> it works <laughs> it got a little stuck right there i hope that doesn't happen every time but i mean this is all underground it works so long story short, what's happening here is I have this T flip-flop here connected to this button. Whenever I hit it, it moves this redstone block up and down. And depending on where that redstone block, it powers a different line. So if it is in the spot that it is right now, this uh, dispenser actually dispenses a bucket of water that pushes the water that way. If the, the, if the block is in the other spot, that dispenser over there is kind of hard to see. You can see a little dispenser right here uh, dispenses its bucket and the water comes over this way. The cool thing is when I hit this trip wire, um, that slime block underneath the trip wire activates and then opens up this piston right here so it is able to launch the guy out. The thing that was really hard, uh, at least for me, was I when the, the, the armor stand is right here, for example, and I lower it, I don't want it to hit that, uh, that, that line and activate the sticky piston because then the armor stand wouldn't go anywhere. So what I had to do is, oh God, I'm gonna have to traverse this. <laughs> so what I did is this this line will be able to be activated. So when I hit the trip wire, this line right here will activate, run through this block and run over this way. But, <laughs> but if this line is not activated, this block, this piston extends moving this block over here, meaning that signal can't get to this part of the signal, which means this piston, the launcher part of the, uh, of the water track or whatever will not activate. So, so if I hit that trip wire, it's not going to activate because this piston is going to be out of place. A better, a better, uh, example of that is this right here. This is the line that will activate the launcher, but because this piston is activated, this signal can't get to that launcher. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I'm not a redstone guru. And also, how do is this how I get out? <laughs> but now I guess there's only one thing left to do. We got to do a little bit of tidying because obviously I don't want this hole in my floor. <laughs> All right, finito burrito. It needs a little bit of work out here. I feel like the front isn't that appealing. <laughs> we need to do a little bit more beautification out here. I think once we add a cool looking arch that connects the building to the bottom side of this, uh, the track, like we started working on the bottom side, some pillars over there. If we kind of institute that into the this i think this whole area is gonna look beautiful i think it's gonna look really good but for now this works <laughs> so you come in here and you're greeted with all my achievements yes there's a lot of empty walls but i'm curious on what you guys think down in the comments below please let me know what you guys think an achievement is that I can write down somewhere in here. Obviously this section right here, I'm gonna do like start dates. This is the day I started the world. This is the day I, I built my first building. Uh, I fought the ender dragon, blah, 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 blah. I wanna do it over here, but what am I gonna do with the rest of these walls? What's an achievement? What's an achievement? But I wanna see this guy in action. I hope me putting down all this, uh, all these half slabs didn't break anything. E oh. Okay, well, I think that's just gonna happen. I think that one's just gonna get activated for no reason. <gasps> no! Did I break something down the line? <laughs> All right, and then try number two. Come on, you can do it, big boy. It takes an uncomfortable amount of time to get back there, so I'm like biting my fingernails. Come on! Yeah! <laughs> I'm 
not comfortable with saying that this took multiple hours to complete. <laughs> I'm so happy. But any who's, thank you guys so incredibly much for watching. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a fantastic start to the new year. I know I am. I'm having a great time with my family. I'm enjoying the time that I have. And I I just I don't know. I'm having I'm having an overall good time. <laughs> anyway, guys, I love you guys to death. Thank you so much for being here and, and sharing this moment with me with a new achievement room. Doesn't it look sick? Look at this. Look at this. Doesn't it look sick? <laughs> All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys next episode. Peace.